Uh, Fuentes. Fuentes has decided to show off his black on black on black when they become such a blackie. Uh, whatever the fuck his, this, his merchandise, I guess. So he does a little show, a little uh, show and tell. Take a look. What do we think? See, I love the black on black. This was the second best seller. The blue was the best. Black was the second best. Got the Christ is King shirt. Got the Balenciaga hoodie. The black on black. Cool. Pretty cool look, right? So I'm trying to give you some It's a options. pretty cool look. So when he was flexing and showing his hoodie and stuff, uh, there was a little oopsie doodle. So let's zoom in. Let's enhance. Is this the one that has the zoom in spots on it? Oh, there we go. This was the, the zeet that I saw that made me think, what the fuck? So in the corner, on the left side, specifically the left side, you can see the glistening crust of some white conspicuous material. Let's see if I can find the exact frame. Right there. You see it? Just shows bright as day on that black on black on black. <laughs> Listen, there's. I'm sorry. Like his, the Grapers came out and said he was eating a McCrispy chicken sandwich and the mayo sauce fell in his lap. You're so desperate. Or it was toothpaste. He was brushing his teeth. I'm sure you don't know anything about that with your hygiene. And the toothpaste fell from his mouth onto his throat. And I'm like, bro, that shit is, like, at waist height to the left. If it was, like, a direct spot, like, drop, like, straight down from his mouth, that shit is to the left. You can tell he's got a left lean bend. <laughs> like, if he's sitting in a chair jerking off and his penis bends to the left, that's where it's going. I don't mean to be gross. I ain't trying to say no gay shit. But I ain't fucking retarded. I can look at this and say what it is. And what's really sad is how defensive Groypers get. If you ever want to get guaranteed 100 replies minimum on a tweet, post a banger about Nick Fuentes. You will see, like, retard Groyper um with the, the the vatican city flag and the the the, the crucifix emoji in, in his name showing up and saying ah, you're desperate you're reaching i didn't realize that your site was ran by the jews come on come on it's not my fault that you picked a mexican man child for a knee daddy don't get mad at me i'm just i'm just keeping it real as they say in the hood okay I don't, I don't understand. It just, it's so weird. I don't know. I never understood the Nick Fuentes things. There was like a brief time where I, 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 there's been times, I'll put it this way. There's been times where I have wanted to like Nick Fuentes. You know what I mean? I have like tried to see the good in this guy and I cannot find good in him. Uh, he's a, he's a really nasty person. He says really stupid shit. His political ambitions are fucking retarded. And he comes on his black t-shirt right before... I mean, that's just the most obvious answer. Is that he went for a quick little goon sesh before his stream. He was planning on showing the merch and just thought, you know, fuck it. I'll... Apparently he was two hours late to this stream, by the way. Like, the comments were all like, uh, if you don't want to stream, just say you don't want to stream and stream the next day. He was like two and a half hours late to this stream. And at some, I mean, at some point, he shows up with the merchandise and with the crusty stain on his shirt. So I don't know what he was doing for his uh, two and a half hours, but it's just, it's just obvious. Like he put on all this shit before the stream, and uh, then masturbated between doing that and starting the stream, and it's just like he didn't think about it. Mm. Don't get mad. Again, don't get mad at me. There's one guy who listens to my stream and says, like, Josh, you only say negative things about Nick Fuentes. You take every shot you possibly can on him. Because there's nothing good to say about him, bro. There's, like, nothing good. He doesn't do anything. He sits alone, he sits alone in fucking Illinois in, a, in like, a, um, in, like, his studio basement by himself. He doesn't have, like... Um, like a groiper, 
like fortress. He doesn't have like you know, he doesn't have like a Waco compound or whatever the fuck. He's a, completely by himself in like one of the shittiest places of the entire country. Like he's somebody so accustomed to routine that he's addicted to like chicken McNuggies and he can't leave the bluest state in like outside of California and New York. He's like in Illinois, right? And he can't like it would be way more respectable if he went out somewhere, used his money to buy like, you know, twenty acres and like an eight bedroom building in Texas or or Idaho or something. And then people went there and he had like his Groiper generals living with him and they were putting out media, they were working together, they were trying to promote people into voting a certain way, they're trying to spread news. There's like things that he could do. It and, and to like show that he's serious and that he takes himself seriously and he takes what he's he's trying to accomplish seriously and sitting in front of a cheap green screen and reading the news and taking super chats is not how you do that it's just not um he ha he has the he has so many people who follow him that if he gave a shit if he actually fucking tried if he wasn't handcuffed by the feds into doing gay ops, most likely, um, he could actually accomplish some stuff. But he's again, he's a man child. He doesn't know any. He doesn't know a different life. He sits. Uh, he sits at his fucking his computer. He plays Valorant of all fucking games. Valorant, one of the gayest fucking games ever made. Um, and he eats chicken nuggies, and he's like so afraid of change, he can't even leave Illinois. It's like how am I? How am I? How could anybody respect that? I don't get it. He chose the cum pill. That's right. I don't know. I just feel like if we swap bodies, there's there is shit that I would do the next fucking day to get things going. The like I don't know how much money he has, but let's just I think he says that he has seven figures. So let's say you have a million dollars. A million dollars buys you a huge amount of land in a bunch of different rural states. It buys you a compound. It buys you um, a, a real studio. It buys you the ability to put people into your, your compound. And, and you can, again, you can work together. You can line up media. You can uh, delegate certain certain topics towards people. You can, you can really do stuff with that kind of money and, and the, the capital that he has in terms of, of people power. Um, he just doesn't. I, I don't get it. Imagine Fuentes hosting the Manny Stream. I don't know. There's a bunch of... Uh, the thing is, I can't even do all that I want to do because I have to keep the site up. And I feel like I do more than Fuentes. Is that fair to say? That I do more than him? Because, I don't know. I would definitely say he's obviously more popular than I am in terms of, like... I don't know. It's it's hard to say because he only has like Twitter followers and stuff. I'm curious to see like uh, line items, but I don't know. There's definitely more you could do, buddy. Anyways, that's Nick Fuentes' cum stain. Thank you for watching this clip. This is Perspicacity. Remember to like and subscribe.